So how we do one thing shows us how we do anything. Let me give an example. The example I'm going to use is yoga, but it could actually be uh, dance practice, any movement practice, certainly any body practice, but even like how you eat your dinner. I'll use the example of yoga just because that's quite popular and most people have some sense of what that is, even if they don't do it. So uh, if I'm in a yoga class, I will see people really pushing hard to get the result, trying to get to the end, stretch. Uh, maybe they're competing with the people around them. Maybe they're comparing themselves and going, oh, I wish I was as flexible as them, or I wish I was as strong as them. Um, you'll see that in every yoga class you go to, no matter what the teacher says, people will be doing that. Yeah? Uh, you'll also see people's strengths. Some people are good at, you know, when the going gets tough, they're good at kind of hanging in there and going, right, I can, I can do my best. Other people will quit really easily. Um, some people in the class will be good at letting go. So when they do a oh, forward bend, for example, they'll just let go, no problem, no big deal. Other people find that really hard. Like I'm a bit of a control freak. So when I do a forward bend, I'm like looking around, you know, it's really hard for me to let go, but it's really easy for me to kind of try hard when it's something difficult, yeah? So we're revealing ourselves all the time in our patterns. So I'd like you to consider um, how are your patterns around how you do a yoga class? If you don't do a yoga class, you could relate this to, I don't know, tennis or anything else that you do, which physically, uh, particularly with the body, reveals our, our ways of being in the world. How does this relate to purpose black belt in terms of what we're doing? So, for example, are you pushing too hard to find your purpose? Is it like, I really have to find it, I'm gonna get it right no matter what? Uh, is it perfectionism? You'll see that in yoga. Some people have to be exactly right, doing exactly how they do things. That's gonna really get in the way if you're like trying to do something new for the first time, yeah? Um, this is back to what we talked about, the trolls of learning, the things that can get in the way. Um, also, your strengths will come out in there as well. So what are you good at in that situation? Is it that you're determined? Is it that you're creative? Is it that you're uh, good at kind of being self-directed? Is it you're good at, you know, being part of a group and supporting other people in the class is that you know are you the person that kind of looks to your side and says are you okay with someone struggling with something yeah so we reveal ourselves all the time um, yes we can do tests we can do like psychometrics or read books but in some ways you'll get more honest data from how you're actually already doing something now, it could be specific to the yoga class or the tennis court or whatever how often it's often it's usually not often it's just we can't help ourselves we reveal ourselves so um, have a look at how you're doing your yoga class or whatever and apply that how does that you know work with purpose black belt is it uh, for example in your business that you're being overly focused on the detail or the big picture um, um, is it that you find it very difficult to be seen? You don't want to be like doing something different in the class that not everyone else is doing. Well, you know, in terms of more entrepreneurial things, that's going to really make a difference. So um, look for those patterns. And there's a way in which the body doesn't lie. There's a way in which we honestly show up in those kind of environments because we're not thinking about ourselves. We're thinking about doing the move or whatever. Yeah. So I hope that's useful.